Despite its enormous tourism potentials, West Africa continues to lag behind in tourism. Fifty years after the establishment of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, to among other things promote intra-regional integration, travel within the region is still a big bottleneck stifling the growth of the sub-region's tourism industry. It's in their bid to solve the problem that these tourism players in the West African sub-region came together to launch the Destination West Africa project to get the leaders of the region to act and get people to embrace intra-regional travels. It costs you more to go to the Gambia than to go to Dubai. Meanwhile, the Gambia is right here in West Africa. So now it's even more expensive going to Cape Verde. If you're going to America, you would pay less going to America than if you're going to Cape Verde, which is about three, four hours away in Nigeria, so in, in, in West Africa. So why is that? So it's all these barriers. If you, if you travel by road, you get to the borders, you see the kind of stress you face. They put you through all kinds of stress. So these are some of the challenges we want to reduce so that West Africans can get to know each other. Poor connectivity makes air travel within West Africa quite difficult and expensive. In most cases, the lack of direct connection could make a one-hour flight last for as long as 12 hours or more, as travelers would have to fly through many other countries, even outside the region, to get to their destinations. It's part of the problem the West Africa Destination Project hopes to address. With this now, I think it will be a way to come together, have some discussion, particularly with the government agencies, to see how we can have a single, a, one basic concept of where you want to travel, if you won't pay, if you're paying to go anywhere within the sub-region, you're just paying once and the government will have to work out how they share the sharing formula rather than each country giving you hassles. And when you're going to come in, it's always a, a, a problem. Gogi Africa and the Destination West Africa team would visit different West African countries, spotlighting the tourism potential, the business, the trade, the commerce, and then the culture, so that West Africans can get to know each other. Because if they know each other, they would not... They would have reason, more reason to want to travel and, of course, be, lend their voices to lowering of barriers traveling intra-Africa, intra-West Africa. The initiators of the Destination West Africa project say they will soon take their campaigns across the sub-region, beginning with four countries, Benin, Togo, Ghana and Ivory Coast, with Nigeria as the hub. The second phase will span Gambia, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea-Conakry.